time to switch over to stock chopping. First thing I gotta do is run this over to the house real quick and put the power takeoff shaft and hydraulic cylinder on it. I take them off when it's just sitting that way it, they don't get rusted up sitting out in the weather. used to not run duels when I pulled this but because back when I was still planting wide rows the tractor would fit would straddle the rows but when I switched to narrows it's not I can straddle two but I'll still run over one so I'm gonna run down corn stalks anyway and this mower is one tongue he tongue heavy SOB and the tractor carries it a whole lot better if you just put the duels on there so I just started running it that way, so. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing ready to roll. All right, here we are. <laughs> Got about 12 acres to get chopped today, so. Start here and work my way back around to the house. And the whole point of chopping corn stalks is residue sizing. And in a conservation tillage like what I am or a conventional tillage, 
it has two functions one it makes it easier to plow under it does helps keep the plow from plugging and the second thing it does is it increases the surface area for the bacteria in the soil to eat on and increases the rate of decomposition and in a no-till situation it increases the surface area same as for the other and then it also makes it easier in the spring to no-till into it because your residue is not as thick and during the winter it increases ground cover which reduces erosion so that's kind of the reason for chopping stalks or in the case of a livestock operation a lot of them will chop corn stalks and bale them to use for bedding so And normally when they do that, they have a special attachment that goes on the back of the chopper that makes it look like a windrow or to actually chop the stalks into a swath.
difference it makes. You can tell it's chopped up a whole lot finer and it's got a lot better ground coverage and it spread a lot more even. That's basically the same, a stock chopper is basically the same thing as a flail mower except where a flail mower turns this way if you're going forward a stock chopper actually turns the opposite way so it creates a vacuum it'll actually suck up everything and then there's right across the top there's a big piece of channel iron that actually holds the stuff up in there until it's a certain size so it basically stays in there and chews it up till it can get all the way through and a lot of guys use bat wing mowers to do this but in my opinion they don't do near as good of a job the only downside to a stock chopper is for what it is it takes a whole lot of horsepower to run this is only a 15 foot and minimum recommended horsepower is 110 so I've only got 10 extra horse than what I actually need which is enough but so This is basically going to be the rest of my day, so... We will catch you guys on the next one.